Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to sharing you, sharing with you my top six drugstore slash affordable brands that are cruelty free. As you, if you've watched me on a regular basis, you'll know that a while, well, maybe three months ago, I decided to go completely cruelty free on makeup. So I literally got all my products that were like Maybelline, Revlon, Bourjois, all that into a bag and I kind of half chucked some of it away that, were that was quite grotty and stuff and then kind of gave the rest away to people who wanted it and yeah so now in my makeup collection there is nothing that is Tesla Animals which is amazing and in my professional kit as well it's all cruelty free makeup which is very exciting so Yes, like I said, I thought it'd be a fun video to show you my top six, kind of my six favourite drugstore affordable brands that are cruelty free. And with each brand, I'm going to show you like my top three products. So three of these, three of these brands you can actually find at the drugstore, and three of them you can either find online or they have independent stores. They're all affordable products and brands. So let's just jump right straight into it. So the first three brands I'm going to talk about are the ones that you can find actually at the drugstores, so either Boots or Superdrug. Um, and the first one is actually probably the newest brand to me out of those three, and it's the brand Gosh. Um, I've tried several of their products, you should have seen them um, on my channel, so it's definitely this year, that like 2016, where I discovered the brand and found some really amazing products there that I loved. But top three that I have picked is one you'll probably, I use a lot in my videos definitely, and that's the Gosh Eyebrow Pencil. Mine's in the shade grey brown. Um, as you can see I've pretty much run out, but I like it because it has a spoolie on the end so you can brush through your brows as you're doing it. It's what I've got in my brows today. As you can see it doesn't create a super intense dark brow because it's kind of like a grey brown, but I really like it on like a day-to-day -day natural basis um, as it's not an intense colour so it can create a really nice natural brow and also because it's pencil it's a very soft pencil and it just makes everything so easy to do and so quick so like in the morning you can just I can just quickly go in with it and I'm done. The next product is um, one of their Forever Eyeshadow Sticks. Um, this is the matte formula in the shade Twisted Brown. This is very just neutral brown colour and um, I have a few of their metallic sticks as well but this is the one I really love because it's probably one I go to a lot on a day to day basis as well because I can literally just whack it all over the lid blend it out and that's all I need on my lids it just it's really smooth texture really easy to blend out it's great to act as a eye base as well for the rest of your eyeshadows to go on top and the final gosh product that I love is a lipstick. This is one of their Velvet Touch lipsticks in 152 Mandarina, which is a very pretty muted orange kind of colour. And I've been really loving this, particularly in the summer, I've been really enjoying it. And actually, it's quite a nice transition shade for the autumn as well. Um, and these are just super creamy, super smooth. Um, which I loved. The next cruelty free drugstore brand I'm going to talk about is Makeup Revolution. Now you would know if you watch my videos that I use a lot of Makeup Revolution products. It's really really inexpensive and really good quality and they're really actually taking off at the moment. They've got kind of a couple of separate bits to their brand. There's the Isle of Makeup section. Which this is probably going to be a surprise. I've used this in several tutorials. It's one of the ones that keeps getting requested that do more tutorials using this. So I think I've got three videos of me using this palette, so I'll link them all down below. And it's the Makeup Revolution Fortune Favours the Brave palette, the one that's in collaboration with British Beauty Blogger. So it looks like this. A range of matte shimmers, neutrals, dark colours, just some really beautiful colours in there. I find that they're really smooth um, eyeshadows to use, really blendable, really pigmented and just really nice eyeshadow palette to use in general 
Um, you can create so many looks like this, so much natural, some bold looks. The next Makeup Revolution product is one that I did a first impressions of, not impression of, not too long ago actually. Um, it seems to be quite popular and it's the Ultra Pro HD Cream Contour, Contour Kit. I've got mine in the shade Light Medium and someone did comment on the video saying that maybe the, the contouring shakes I use this one here to contour because I just thought that one looked a bit too warm for my skin she thought that was still a bit too warm for me she said the palette in general maybe I should have gone for the lighter one but the light palette just looked a bit too light for my skin I don't know um, and I found with things like the sleep contour kit I went for the light shade and the colours just kind of disappeared on me and actually like this shade right here does an amazing job of highlighting which is very rare for my skin tone so I just, I love this palette and maybe I went for the wrong shades but it seemed, I think it works for my skin tone and yeah I just love how creamy these products are and how blendable they are. And the final Makeup Revolution product, I've used this several times on videos, it's actually broken, I've lost the lid and everything to it now um, because it's so well loved and that's the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer in Golden Days. Oh there it is. So it's a nice warm toned bronzer, it has sheen to it, so it creates a really nice glow on the skin. Um, I just use this big fluffy brush all over the face, like kind of in a three shape, um, everywhere, just to give my skin a little bit of golden glow to it, like it's been sun kissed. It's a really, really lovely product, not too orange for my skin tone as well. Okay, the final drugstore brand that I'm going to be talking about is Sleek. Now that's probably no surprise, Sleek has definitely taken off, especially in America now. It's just done so well. There's one product I'm just going to quickly mention and then get out of the way. So this is one of the brands where I had, I couldn't narrow it down because I didn't want to talk about a certain product because I use it all the time and I always talk about it. But then this is meant to be my top three products from that brand. So I'm going to quickly mention it then put it to one side then talk about another three quickly so that's the sleek makeup solstice palette highlighter palette this is just hands down my ride or die highlighting palette i love it this is the, or the orange shade is the one i use all the time i've got it on at the moment just lightly dusted um and yeah it's just one of my favourite highlighting palettes it's not glittery I don't think not too like chunky with glitters it creates a really nice sheen on the skin really beautiful easy blendable love it right on to three different products from Sleek so one is um, so I have about seven I think of the eyeshadow palettes because that's probably apart from that, that sauce palette before that it was all about the eyeshadow palettes I believe, I think. And I have several of them, I use the Eau Natural palette. I think I actually know, I've done a sleek collection so you will have seen all the palettes I own. But probably, hands down, my favourite palette out of them all is the Enchanted Forest one. It is just so beautiful and actually they're beautiful colours for this time of year as well. You've got some really beautiful purples in there, there's some greens, there's some like pretty gold colours, there's a blue and then a few cream as well. A mix of shimmers and mattes and I've actually got this on my eyes today. Yeah I just absolutely love the colours from this palette, I just think they're so gorgeous. Probably, like I love doing this combination, so that purple with that champagne colour, I just think it's so pretty. Um, I have got a tutorial of me using this and it seems, again, it's another well-liked video of mine. So I'll leave that link down below. Um, one of my first products I ever bought from Sleek were the Blush by 3 palette. Blush. Yeah, Blush by 3 palettes. Um, I bought the California one and I loved it so much that I purchased a whole bunch of other ones. Um, my favourite blush by 3 palette has to be this one though this is the pumpkin one um, when you see it it's very bright colours but you can you can easily just take a little bit on the brush and dust it on they create such a pretty flush so it's these three bright colours in here they're all powders um, 
these two are matte this is a slight shimmer in it but the reason I love this palette so much is because yes you can go and lightly create a really nice flush if you want a bit more editorial look and um, go a bit heavy you can do and actually what I've been loving this palette for is also using it um, for eyeshadows beautiful eyeshadows you want some really especially because I don't have many red eyeshadows in my collection this colour here is perfect and I love it a lot and I just think it's a very versatile palette and my final favourite product from Sleek is one of the Matte Me Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Creams this is the newest, no it's not this is the first one I ever bought actually and it's a really pretty everyday colour and it's the shade Petal so it's just a really pretty kind of nude pink colour that one there um, they dry super matte, last a really long time relatively comfortable on the lips, probably my Colourpop lip um, ultra matte lips are probably slightly more comfortable but if I put a lip balm underneath then it's no problem at all lasts so long, beautiful colours, I've got a couple other ones as well but this is a really pretty kind of everyday colour, this is probably the one I go to the most as well so those are my three drugstore ones, now onto my three um, classed as affordable ones so you can either find them online or in or they have their own independent store type thing and again I'm going to talk about my top three products from each brand so and as I just talked about their matte lipsticks I think I'll start with the brand Colourpop so Colourpop is one of my favourite cruelty free brands it's a very much a new discovery for me I've been dying to try them for ages and then since they've start shipping to the UK which is not the easiest thing actually because delivery costs is quite expensive and custom cost is also quite expensive so so if you can like share shipping with a friend or something I definitely recommend that because it's just crazy so I might as well start with all that ultra matte lipsticks um, I absolutely love the formula these I own about 25 of the ultra matte lipsticks because I love them so much they're very comfortable formula that's the main thing because um, like I said the sleek ones are comfortable-ish but these are definitely far more comfortable on the lips um, beautiful shade range I find they glide on really well some of them are maybe a little patchy some of the dark ones um, which one it was Root, Roach and Guess are quite patchy but sometimes I just apply another layer then it's fine so love those lipsticks my absolute favourite colour of them all is clueless. It's just a real oh god, I'm running out of space in my hand. It's a really pu beautiful pink colour. It's kind of um, a dusty pink. So kind of I guess more on the mauve side mauve side. But it's a really beautiful pink colour. It's a great one to use on a like everyday basis if you wanted to, if you want to look like a little pop of pink on the lips. Sticking with the lip theme I've also got some of their lippy stick. So this is one of their cream versions, creme, cream versions, um, and this is in the shade Bear Hug, and it's a beautiful kind of deepish, it's just a beautiful red colour, it's kind of more of a pinky red, there's definitely some pink in there, but it's a stunning colour, and these are so comfortable on the lips, it's ridiculous. Yes, they don't probably don't last as long as the ultra matte lip liquid lips would um, but they're just so comfortable on the lips glide on so easily I don't need a lip liner with these or anything like that and yeah just the nicest feeling nicest feeling lipstick that I've ever put on my lips and then the final favourite product from Colourpop is one of their um, Super Shock pressed pigments um, I have got two more on the neutral side, but the one that I absolutely love just because it's such a stunning colour, so vibrant and bright and not a colour that I tend to go to a lot, but when I do wear it, I just absolutely love it. And it's in the shade Glow Sticks, so it's just this incredible bright yellow. It is shimmer, so there is some shimmer to it. And I've used it in a couple of videos, I've used it in my recent, in my Samba, Samba inspired makeup look. And I just 
absolutely love it. These are really beautiful eyeshadows in general, like the formulation. Really creamy, really blendable. Um, a really nice formulation to work with. I'm desperate to get more of these. So the next brand I'm going to talk about, it does have its own independent store. There's one that's in Bath, which is the one I always go to because I love it, and it's Kiko. So some of these products you would have seen me use a lot, especially this first one, which is the blusher. I don't think they do this anymore because my friend absolutely loved it as well when I put it on her and she wanted it but she couldn't find it so I think it's not there anymore. This is a Color Veil blush in 04. It's my typical favourite colour of blush. A peachy orange toned blusher. Stunning. It's like a, it is a baked blusher so it's just slightly more um, smoother, slightly more creamy on the skin and um, it's just one of my old time favourite blushes. I had to pick one blush out of everything because I know I've mentioned the Sleek Blush by Three Pads. This is it. This is the one I'd go to every time. It is just my favourite. If you're sticking with the kind of orange theme, one of my, this, this is one of my first lipsticks I actually got from Kiko and it's one of my favourites. Just the formulation and the colour so it's, and beautiful packaging as well so it looks like this. Um, it's in the shade, well 605. They don't give all the things num uh, names, they just give numbers, this is 605 and it's kind of, it is a more one of the matte formulations I think well it's pretty matte on the lips and it's just a beautiful orange red colour so it's one that I went to a lot in the summertime this there is just there uh, it's an absolutely stunning colour lovely um, formulation because like I said I think it is quite matte on the lips so I think it's a matte one it sounds a bit silly but it didn't, doesn't say anywhere if it is matte but to me I think it's matte um, and comfortable on the lips it looks beautiful just kind of makes it makes your teeth look really white as well which I love and yeah throughout the summer whenever I wanted a slightly more of a bolder lip this was it because it's just a beautiful beautiful colour the last thing from Keeper that I absolutely love is their Sparkling Trail Eyeshadow Stick. I have this in 03, which is like a very like a plum red colour. Again, like the Gosh Stick, I love just popping this all over the eyes and blending it out, and then that's it. That's all I do. So it's that one just there. It's like slightly metallic-y, this one, um, but just so creamy. It's one of those ones where you just, if you really can't bother to put too much on your eyes, but you want something, like I said, go on, on the eyelid, blend it all out, and it looks really beautiful. And I think it's appropriate colour for autumn as well. It's stunning, and yeah, like I said, it's super creamy. And the final affordable brand that's cruelty free that I absolutely love is one that actually, the very first video I did featuring this is my most popular video and I am planning on doing another one soon, I've done two now but the first one just kind of is my most viewed and most popular video um, and which I think is amazing and for a good reason because it is an amazing brand it's not only it's a mineral based brand so it's all natural products as well which is amazing so my final brand that I'm going to talk about is Lily Lolo but the first product that I'm going to talk about is a foundation and it's their mineral uh, foundation in warm peach this is amazing it's just I was so surprised when I tried it because with mineral products I'm always especially foundations I'm always worried it's going to look a bit cakey on the skin and you can really see it but this you can't and you can really build it up so gain the coverage you want and it still won't look like uh, cakey on skin, it doesn't cling to any dry patches, you can put liquid products over the top or cream based products over the top, it doesn't affect it, you can put it on top of cream and you can also revert like vice versa, put it on top of cream products or liquid products, it doesn't affect the outcome at all which is amazing. Um, I recommend using a kabuki brush to apply this, it gives a more even finish to the skin. Having said that, it, having said that, you can use it with liquid products. I would not recommend using a damp beauty blender to apply this because it doesn't quite work like that. It just kind of goes it. Then it will go a bit patchy. But I mean, like in terms of putting a liquid concealer at the top or a cream brush, or if you use like a liquid illuminate underneath, 
that works perfectly fine. So love the foundation. Next one, next product I love from Lee Lolo is one of the eyeshadow palettes. This is a Smoke and Mirrors palette. I haven't used this for a while, so I need to actually whip this back out again. Um, but it's just really beautiful shades to create a nice smoky eye look. You've got matte, you've got shimmers, light colours, dark colours, everything you need in there to create a perfect smoky eye. Really amazing eyeshadows. Let's watch the lighter colour. I like that colour. So you can see really pigmented, blendable, beautiful beautiful eyeshadows and I want to get a couple because I know they've got a new palette out and I think there's a couple other palettes so I would love to get this as well. Actually I'd have to say of all of the product all the brands I've said these Lilo is probably the most expensive out of the group but it's not but it's still very affordable at the same time if that makes sense. The final Lily Lolo product I've been loving and the final product I'm going to be talking about in this video is the lip gloss, their mineral lip gloss. This is in the shade High Fly, it's one of the newer lip glosses and it's just a very beautiful burnt orange colour. Just so. Now the main reason I love these lip glosses is because they don't not sticky. I can't that's why you'll hardly ever see me use a gloss on my channels because I always find them so sticky, really irritable, and I just can't. I'd rather have the driest, mattest lip stick on than a really sticky glossy lip. It sounds a bit crazy but I just really don't like it and these aren't sticky and they're really quite pigmented as well which I absolutely love and this is by far my favourite colour. It's actually a very a beautiful autumn colour because it's kind of like a burnt orange which I absolutely love. So yes. So those are my top six drugstore and affordable cruelty free brands and some of my favourite products within those brands. I'd really love to know your favourite cruelty free brands and maybe leave some suggestions because I'm still like new to it, still trying to work out, trying to discover new brands that are cruelty free and there's always so much confusion about which ones are, some aren't very clear as to whether they are cruelty free. I'd love to hear your recommendations, what you've been loving. I hope you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.